And um no you are Aaron. The door just uh, open. Who are you Aaron, yeah? Look. I'm still seeing the three characters. They're going down to the celery. To the celery, to the cellar. Oh, we're finding Charlie. We're investigating together. You can hear the music, huh? You are the years are the one that fill up time. Yeah, so the one that. Let's see. Look, it's Charlie. Is he all right? Who are you playing as, Aaron? It is him. Charlie. We need to get in there before something happens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can see you. You guys, look at this. Nah. That's Charlie's. Goodbye. Dumet must have got him. Yeah, we're trying to break it. Years are the wine that fill the cup of time. <laughs> One of these bundles got a date on them. Check this out. It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Makes sense, right? The tricks and traps is playing games. Yeah, not a fan of life or death escape rooms. Let's think. Other than H.H. H. Holmes, who else played these sort of games? We can profile when we have the time and option. Red one. I'm trying to think of a way out of his game. Fine, but right now, I don't see we have much choice but to play if we want to get out of here. No, um, I didn't mean to. First number is one. Maybe it has something to do with these dates on the bottles. Yellow six. Last one six. This is it, last one. Green nine. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that was me. I was looking through the bottles for the cards. What's he doing? It's Charlie. Look, it's Charlie. <laughs> Set up. I don't know if there's no crematorium. This is place. I got a liver. 
top has three fire. Wait. Uh, What's happening? Look at this. Uh, just give me a choice. It has to be connected to where Charlie is. Right? Okay, the first one, the top has three fire uh, symbols, and the one at the bottom has one fire symbol. Yeah, but how? We don't even know where he is. I think it might be a trick right now. He's surrounded by ash. There's a toolbox there. You see it? Behind you. Next to the statue on his left. There's a toolbox. Wait. What's he got in his hand? He's gonna cry. What do we do? Uh huh. Telling me to hold it to pull down. Do I leave it? I left it. I left it. If we don't do something, Charlie's dead. Now, Dumet wants us to pull it. It's another game. I don't trust him. He's just fucking standing there. Do something, Charlie. This is a toolbox. Ah, shit. Uh, and I'll go guilt. Yeah, in this one he felt gear with the black guy, but in the other one they were blaming the killer. I have to wonder how the group will fare without their leader. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. Yeah, I think it was definitely to die. feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely so make you play it twice. <laughs> I think they're rather clever. Like excuses. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this ah, was your to he, um... up a little hint to even the odds. What do Wait, you yes. think? Yeah. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. 